We are doing this interview in the Palais Royal, in the center of Paris, uh, because uh, I have a past in Paris. I studied at the Sorbonne uh, because uh, my professor in Cologne gave me the task to work on a doctor thesis about Paris and German painting from 1760 to 1840. That was in the time when several programs connected uh, French and German culture. And I was very happy to work in Paris to find a place where I could live during one year. When I entered uh, the German embassy, uh, I wanted uh, to get recommendations in order to enter different historical libraries in Paris. The archives of the Louvre and of other places were German artists between 1760 and 1840 might have been noted. And I remember very well that uh, I was presented to a Baron von Zitzewitz who uh, was a very old man and he gave me just his visiting cards and said uh, I might show them wherever I wanted to have a permission. And I was quite astonished that I got easily permissions to the archives of different places because uh, Baron von Zitzewitz was very well known as one of those Germans who in the 40s, when Paris was occupied by the Germans, had saved the artworks uh, from being transported to Germany. Uh, working in these archives was uh, beautiful and uh, the Louvre had at that time, uh, around 1800, uh, visitors' books where every visitor was asked to note his name and his address. And I was happy to find uh, uh, several artists uh, of that time, German artists, who had visited the Louvre. Uh, the work was done and uh, later I continued uh, to visit Paris regularly and when I uh, took over the job of founding a museum of contemporary art in Aachen uh, with the Ludwig collection, my interests went to Paris and I uh, wanted to exhibit uh, French artists, though uh, the general interest in Germany was completely concentrated on American artists. At that time, uh, Paris decided to develop a biennale, a biennial, uh, competing with the Venice Biennial, which was regarded as old-fashioned, a Paris Biennial of young artists. And uh, I was uh, uh, called to be the German commissioner for this Paris Biennial. And I met in Paris different other commissioners like uh, Stanislavski from Lodz in Poland, like Tushiaki Minimura from Tokyo, uh, like uh, people from Norway, uh, England and different countries. Jean-Christophe Amann from Luzerne in Switzerland. And in these revolutionary times, we decided to finish with the system of national contributions but to form uh, an international commission 
which would prepare an international integrated exhibition of artists which this commission had chosen. This was quite new at that time and uh, we liked the idea to do something uh, for the uh, international structure of contemporary art. At that time we didn't think that it was possible anymore to present national art schools competing with each other. I worked in this commission for about 10 years and later the Paris Biennial uh, ended and uh, the old Venice Biennial stayed uh, as the uh, most important historical biennials in the world. Uh, I followed several French artists like uh, uh, Anne and Patrick Poirier in the field of uh, archaeological art. I followed the artist of the Support Surface group and all of these artists uh, were integrated with works, with acquisitions in the Ludwig collection, which means that the Ludwig collection today has uh, a nice chapter of contemporary French art which is mostly concentrated in the Ludwig Museum of Koblenz. The uh, uh, Neue Gallery in Aachen, uh, looking for partners, uh, worked together with the uh, uh, German-French uh, youth organization the Deutsch-Französisches Jugendwerk uh, and that was another possibility uh, to join young French and German artists in common uh, uh, workshops and uh, exhibition. In that regard I got a partner in uh, Jean-Louis Fromont in Bordeaux who at that time had opened a new exhibition space in an industrial plant which was called the CAPC uh, and uh, we often uh, met in Paris or in Bordeaux or in Aix-la-Chapelle uh, to uh, check the artists uh, whom we wanted to exhibit and whom we wanted to unite. At that time I got a good contact to the Ecole des Beaux-Arts of Nîmes uh, in which uh, uh, some of the artists of Support Surface concentrated under the uh, uh, direction of uh, uh, Claude Viala. At that time I made a big monograph exhibition of Claude Viala in the biggest hall of our mu museum and I uh, like to remember this uh, very colorful uh, renaissance of early 20th century French painting. At that time we uh, uh, tried to make an international exhibition which we called Le Nouveau Fauve, the New Fauve, mm, uh, uniting French artists, American artists uh, of the pattern movement uh, and German artists of uh, neo-expressionism. The whole aim was always to unite these artists uh, and uh, uh, to speak in their languages, unite their languages, translate their traditions uh, 
and uh, uh, regard what is common in uh, our culture. This uh, has continued to be uh, my interest uh, in uh, international art and uh, since I had been in Paris I have moved to many places uh, but still now Paris is for me uh, one of the dream cities where I return regularly um, to see the museums uh, change and uh, be contemporary at the same time. Uh, being here uh, and visiting the Centre Pompidou, I remember the uh, years of uh, the preparation of the Centre Pompidou, the uh, uh, moving from the Palais Tokyo uh, to the new place, uh, the talks with uh, the Ludwig collection about loans for the uh, opening exhibition. And I remember Gordon Mata Clark uh, working in a house uh, uh, at the side of the uh, growing building, uh, which was damned to be demolished and cutting out uh, the floors of the different uh, stories of the house, mm, looking through from upside to downstairs and uh, making a film in this building in the way he regarded things and he developed artworks. Another collaboration like that with the uh, French-German uh, youth organization was the collaboration with the Goethe Institutes in France. There are several Goethe Institutes in uh, cities in France, like Lyon, like Toulouse, like Marseille. And uh, as the uh, German part of the uh, Ludwig collection became rather famous in the 80s, uh, with the uh, uh, star painters like uh, Lüppertz, Baselitz, Penck, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Polke and Richter. Uh, we prepared a tour of uh, a collection uh, for these institutes. And that gave me the chance to look into uh, those towns uh, uh, which uh, after the movements of decentralization in France in the 60s uh, were flourishing uh, with their own uh, uh, museums and with the uh, uh, Fonds Régionaux d'Art Contemporain, uh, the uh, uh, regional uh, centers for contemporary art, collecting and exhibiting international uh, contemporary art. It seems that uh, France and Paris uh, have been uh, an important part of my life since the moment when uh, uh, the presidents uh, of the two countries uh, De Gaulle and Adenauer uh, met in the 50s in the Cathedral of Reims uh, and uh, decided uh, mm, a lot of uh, movements between the two countries. Uh, at that time I was a pupil in school and I got the address of a French pupil with the uh, demand to exchange letters and exchange visits and uh, fortunately I got the address of a girl uh, and uh, that was one of my first loves, uh, a French girl in Le Vésinet, a suburb of Paris and the daughter of a veterinarian. Uh, since then uh, 
I have had regular contacts with France and still now I'm dreaming of the possibility that my doctor thesis about Paris and uh, German painting in the 18th and 19th century in the time of the French Revolution and the Restoration uh, that this doctor thesis which has become a very big book uh, would be translated into French and uh, an exhibition would follow showing uh, the uh, meetings between French and German artists of that past time.